Hello everyone and welcome to this game of the week. This is going to be between Zhao Fan and ACCM played earlier in the week. In the purple, we have ACCM playing as the Franks. And on the bottom right, we have Zhao Fan playing as the Burmese. So Franks versus Burmese matchup. And we've seen a lot of games from Zhao Fan. He's had a lot of good games recently. <laughs> yeah, a lot of good rated games. That's why I'm casting him so much. Hopefully you can appreciate his play style and whatnot. And uh, learn more about this great Chinese player. ACCM. Hailing from Vietnam. What I consider probably the second best or third best Vietnamese player of all time. And uh, both of them are sitting around 2400. Not too much skill difference between them. I expect this to be a great game. So Franks versus Burmese. Oh, uh, civilizations with a pretty different play style. The, um, both civilizations get feudal age economy bonuses with the Franks getting a forager bonus and free upgrades on their farms. The Burmese get free lumber camp upgrades. So both can have a good early game because of that. The Burmese get better infantry because they get plus one attack per age. The Franks get more HP on their scouts. So as you can see here, 54 HP lends itself well to a nice scout rush. And this could be a good fight for ACC. I'm going to get that scout nice and low. I never like taking um, fights next to your opponent. What is that? Next to your opponent's base because they always bring a villager. But this is idling a villager, so it's not too bad. 16 HP, 9 HP. Might even kill that scout. 6 HP left. If he finds that scout, that scout's dead. So come back. Come back one more time. Kill the scout. Kill it. Block the villager. Do something. That villager has no loom. Oh, but this is tense. The scout just needs one hit to go down. Or, yeah, one hit. Did that villager just attack the boar with, like, its knife? Oh, it must have attacked the scout. Okay, 3 HP only on that scout. Let's see who wins. Jao Fan gonna take it. Okay, great. A lot of action from the get-go. That villager's gonna survive as well. Great play from Zhao Fan. Keeps the scout alive, wins the scout battle, and lures the boar at the same time. Wow, great play. And that's especially nice. That scout, remember, for ACCM had extra HP. So that's even more impressive. ACCM going to grab Loom now. Looks like he's going to gear up for a scout rush. Zhao Fan probably going to go... Oh, might go with the scout rush himself. Only has three villagers on wood, but we could see a barracks and men-at-arms. That's the typical play. And with this kind of map, I would definitely go men-at-arms. It is a uh, more closed map, so if you want to transition archers, that's fine. Or some towers. Just a little wall here, 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 and here. And you'll be good to go in the Feudal Age. Mine some stone. Go Rimbai later on. And Rimbai are very good against knights and melee units in general. So that's what I expect to see from Zhao Fan. This map's pretty good. These walls are so... These uh, cliffs are so great for walling. Zhao Fan's got a nice wood in the back as well. Gold is kind of out there, but if he walls appropriately, this will be a very good map. ACCM's got a bit of a forward gold, a forward wood line. He should play more aggressive this game. He does have back resources. Not the worst Arabia maps I've ever seen. Especially for Zhao Fan. And now we have Zhao Fan adding more villagers to wood. So I do expect to see that barracks and some men at arms. Over to Zhao Fan's point of view. 7 minutes 30 now. Now would be the time you add a barracks. There's that barracks villager right now. And let's see if she uses the barracks. Oh, I hate this. Why not use it as part of the wall? Build the barracks here or here. I don't like that. And ACCM's going to get up with some quick walling of his own. This will be walled off in time. Yeah, so it doesn't have to worry about that left side at all. It just has to worry about the right side, but... This is more worrisome with the gold and the, the wood there. But ideally, ACCM should be able to put a barracks and a stable there, and that would be perfect. So I'm going to place the barracks there. No militia being queued quite yet for Zhao Fan. Zhao Fan's up quite late, 24 population up. For a men at arms rush, latest, latest you go up is usually 22 population. But uh, never 24 population. This is a late men at arms rush. ACCM going with a 20 pop up scout rush. Both players have loom. Yeah, both players have loom. So I think there was a little bit of idle town center time for ACCM. 
I think he should probably have 21 population when in fact he has 20. Oh, he did lose the scout, remember? So I guess that counts. Yeah, so that makes sense. So th th no idle time. And these are okay walls. I honestly wanted to see them like this, but ACCM needs the walls now because those militia are coming out across the map. Should see the men at arms upgrade right away. And let's see if they can put any pressure. Going to need a few walls in this area. Scout act. The stable actually goes up in the back, which is actually that's a smart play because you don't want the stable in the front because then it'll get battered down by the men at arms. So I like that decision. This, on the other hand, is a terrible decision. Going to go after the deer when those men at arms are right there. They have plus one attack already. They're just going to buy their time, wait for the men at arms upgrade, and that's still a live scout of Zhao Kan has seen this. And ACCM should... Actually, he's going to fight this. That's not a bad decision. There you go. Men at Arms upgrade. Kicking in just a little bit late. One extra Men at Arms going to be made, but he's out on his own. These Men at Arms are trying to get that villager kill. That guy's very low, but he'll get away. And that's not too bad. You killed. You took off a lot of HP off one of these Men at Arms. You killed another. Good play from ACCM. And he's not even going to bother with those men at arms. They can't do any more damage. It's fully well. The stable is safe. Close enough to the town center. And he's going to move out and try to attack the base. We have one spearman in position in the gold, one at the stone. And nice play. Not going to take a spear hit. Oh, or is he? That one's very low. Okay, no. Zhao Fan actually coming forward with four villagers. This is very risky because ACCM does have a good amount of scouts. ACCM does not, however, have an archery range for skirmishers to counter these spearmen. Tower's going to come up. It's going to deny half the wood line, but not the whole thing. Immediately, ACCM going over to stone. This will be a great fight with the scouts. The spearmen are not in position. Going to kill one off right away. That was the weak one from earlier. And a quick counter tower from ACCM. Great. That's going to help secure his gold. So this tower not doing a whole lot. Again, just takes away half the wood line. Another tower will be able to deny the whole wood line, but ACCM probably doesn't care about that too much. He's got two other wood lines he could take. In research town, watch, great upgrade. So these villages, as of this moment, are idle. And he's got four more villagers at home taking stone. They run away from that gold. Scout's still looking for something to kill. Any weak farmers? Yeah, two weak farmers. This lumberjack's gonna go way far away from the town center. He's very vulnerable. However, he's gonna drop off his wood right now. That's very lucky. This is the weak one. Not gonna get it. Except for that one time losing the scout. Uh, ACCM scout micro has been on point. Not gonna take a spearman hit. You have to like ACCM's position. That's a good tower. I think these men at arms might get in, and that should never have happened if they get in. So I'm going to see a palisade gate. Should see another gate here. Might as well use the stone gate if you're going to take stone anyway. Counter tower coming up. This is good, though, because Zhao Fan is able to use the stone, which he had too much of anyway, and force a counter tower. He'll probably force another one here. The scout's not finding a whole lot. That's the one they want to go for. And those houses will hold for the time being. Oh, that villager. That villager's going to be very stubborn. And he's down. I hate how stubborn they are. And he went for the villager, but he's still there. Oftentimes, you just hope your opponent doesn't see. I don't think it's worth losing any more scouts at this point. But you can be very annoying with him. Oh, look at this tower from ACCM. Just one counter tower from ACCM, and that's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to take away the wood line of Zhao Fan. One of them. And these... Oh! Oh, they're going to be trapped. Until the spearmen come in anyway. Yeah, so spearmen should save things. And that tower doesn't have enough range to uh, kill those villagers. Once again, ACCM not taking any shots on the spearmen, although getting close. 
That's a tower being put up for ACCM. Alright, that's it for the towers because they're not going to be able to do too much anymore. And Castle Age is going to be clicked up from ACCM. Chow Fan about to click up himself. Still pretty even game. So what you have to like about uh, Zhao Fan's position is that he should have enough stone to build a castle and a rim by. What you like about ACCM's position is he's already walled in on his map and he's going to be in Castle Age first. Even going to get Fletching just for these two towers. That'll be a great one. If that one goes up on the stone, that's going to force Zhao Fan to use his market to buy the stone or all these villagers are going to take stone anyway. Not going to matter a whole lot. And just waiting for players to get up to the next age. Way too much stone being taken for Zhao Fan. Maybe he plans on buying stone. Heck. Alright, let's see. Fletching. I think it was cancelled. Way too much gold. Yeah, even with Fletching, you're only going to be able to take away that stone mine which just ran out. So Zhao Fan adjusting now, taking his villagers off of gold. I think ACCM should have taken his villagers off the stone a long time ago. I, this is a, always a big mistake, is you need to readjust your economy once you change your strategy. So ACCM taking way too much stone. I know he doesn't plan on going for a castle. Probably not. I, a castle here would be great, though. It's a good position. Two knights moving out. They already have the Frank's bonus HP and one armor. Zhao Fan going with Pikeman right away. He's only... He, well, he's got... He's got seven spearmen. I like that decision. I think he needs it for the time being, and they'll help to prevent the raids. The Rimbai can't be everywhere at the same time. Two knights move around the south. I've got two scouts, but... And we'll see if we see a siege workshop. Man, if Zhao Fan could get a siege workshop here and push with the Rimbai plus Meganels, that'll be very strong. ACCM has already got a Meganel, however, and I, I really like that. And a stable coming up for Zhao Fan as well, I guess for Bloodlines and Husbandry. Would like to see a Monastery soon as well. Alright, let's see, uh, maybe a quick cleanup in this area. Those villagers. Oh, a few of them. And that tower will go down. That's great. This is great for ACCM because, well, he cleans up the tower, he cleans up the army, but I think most importantly, he's going to start to regain this position a little bit, prevent a siege workshop from coming up here. And ACCM has enough stone for a castle, so he could place a castle right there. And I would definitely do that, or here. Well, you got the tower there, so I guess that's enough. And as of this moment, the, the knights should be enough. I think ACCM should take advantage of this opportunity to place that castle right now because look at this combo. Oh, it's already too late. That combo is so strong. Alright, not going to be strong enough. Get that castle up. Going to place it in the back. Just I would have placed it there. That castle's not doing you too many favors. ACCM, two town centers. Villager count's dead even. ACC, I'm just going to play knights. I think you should get some monks out as well. Playing just knights against a Rimbai is very hard. Both players, two town centers. That castle's in a great position, protecting that town center and the gold. As this game goes on, I'm starting to like a Zhao Fan's position just more and more. These Arimbai would be able to maybe two or three shot knights. Which is insane. Three shotting knights. And they fire so fast too. That's part of the problem. They fire much faster than Conquistadors.
Even an elephant, what? Let's just soak some damage. So both players booming. Staying similar in the villager discrepancy. Elephant and the pikeman should be able to win that easy. What's going on over here? Not a whole lot. Monastery, good town center position on that gold. Perfect town center position. Has ACCMC seen this gold? He has, that's great. A few knights trying to raid a little. Looks like they got a villager, but that's not a whole lot. One villager for one knight. Maybe we can get one more. Oh, my bad. They got tons of villagers. Unless those are pikemen. Yeah, no, tons of villagers. That was a huge raid. I can't believe I missed that. I can't believe I missed that. I guess I should use team colors. <laughs> Oh man, that was a huge raid. Look at the look at the difference. They were just neck and neck a second ago. ACCM looping around with his knights and killing a ton of villagers building this town center. Oh, great play. I can't believe I, I missed that. Oh, no problem. No problem. Glad you like the casting. Yeah, this is a great game. I'm surprised how good this game is. There's a second castle for ACCM. ACCM's in a dominant position. Xiao Fan is up to the Imperial Age. That's a bonus for him. But what can you get with Imperial Age with the Burmese in this situation? You can get Trebs. Trebs is great. Treb Trebs are great. Um, with the Rembai, unless you can afford Elite or Rembai, I don't see it making a difference. And I, I don't see Zhao Fan on 55 villagers affording an Elite or Rembai. This will be a great fight. They just, they're going to destroy the Knights. So, if Zhao Fan can do some something with his economy and somehow afford elite or rambai and a few trebs that would be devastating uh, assuming accm doesn't transition into like pike uh, to skirmishers or, or something along those lines or zhao fan could maybe you can add monks to get the monk text but otherwise the imperial age doesn't grant you a whole lot You know, those are resources better spent somewhere else. I mean, nobody is even casting this. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. And there we go. We're going to see the castle on top of that hill. I, I bet you. You only bring this amount of villagers forward for one thing, and that's a castle. There's a there is a ram here. There is a ram. So there's a, that could be a little dicey. I don't think it's not going to happen. Okay. The ram attacks the foundation, of course, the castle will be lost. But ACCM earlier in the game should have absolutely placed this castle here. And this is going to be a big problem. Xiao Fan will have a trebuchet out. Start working on that castle. Hey. What's ACCM going to do? Looks like he's going to transition to pikemen. I think it could work if you have one third more economy, like ACCM has. I think it could work to go into pikemen. And this castle can actually take down two castles. That's great. Could even maybe take down the mining camp and prevent these prevent uh, gold from being mined. Town center right there. And as well, it has to be said, this castle again defends so much the Jaffan's economy, preventing the big knight raids. What's ACCM going to do? Got four monks. He's got a ton of pikemen. Oh, my bad. ACCM's in the Imperial Age. I missed that. Okay, gonna go Halberdier. I think it can work. I think that can work well with one-third more economy. That castle should be a goner. What happened to the Rimbai? What happened to them? Where did they go? Did they die? Oh, they're in the castle. Okay. Yeah, they're there. I'm gonna heal up a little. So Zhao Fan absolutely should repair his castle. That castle's in too valuable a position. And should defend with Trebs. No repairs on the castle quite yet. It's gonna lose it. And now Halberd, you're done.
And if you pair them with rams, they can be much more effective. But obviously, halberd are not going to raid by themselves. By themselves. A lot of gates. Unfortunately, that castle went down for Jaffa, and I think that was a saveable castle. Especially four trebuchets against three with the hill advantage. And not repairing those trebuchets either, that's another mistake. Some mistakes in Jalfan in this late game. Nice tower, nice tower from ACCM. Denying that gold. Um, we have to think about gold now. Jalfan's actually not mining any gold. He he's going to mine this gold heavily. But he needs gold desperately. And... Shouldn't have lost that trebuchet battle. As you can see, ACCM repairing his trebuchet like mad. That's what Zhao Fan should have done earlier. And we don't have a, a we don't have a unit to transition to for Zhao Fan. Halberdier would be great. They're going to be much stronger than the Halberdier of the Franks with the extra three attack from the Burmese bonus. But we need to see a lot of Halberdier real fast. And that upgrade's not cheap either. That's like 600 food, 600 gold, something along those lines. 300 gold, 600. 300 food, 600 gold. And I don't think Xiao Fan has the economy from that. The economies did even up. But Xiao Fan's going to need some time to collect those resources. These villagers are all brand new. Upgrades coming in, but it's still happening too fast. And what Zhao Fan doesn't want is to lose these military production buildings or lose this town center. Let's see if he can try to save it. They have the hill advantage here. There's three monks. Oh boy. Is the room by getting too close? It looks like they're actually kind of trapped. No, they're okay. Where's that? Okay, here we go. Big upgrades coming in. Halberdier, plate armor. And actually, that came up much faster than I thought. Okay, Xiao Fan has a good army for the time being. But he's going to lose some position. We have rams coming in under this town center there. Rams over on the right side. This is great. The tower and then the siege workshop. And now stealing the gold. Albs are idling this town center. Xiao Fan's not in a great position. Position-wise or economy-wise. Finding way too much gold for the army he's making. He had no gold, and then he's overcompensated and making weight and taking way too much gold. All he needs is food and wood. And he's just got to make more. Got to make more barracks. Has to make more halbs. Eventually, this is setting ACCM up, of course, for either hand cannons or... Well, he lost his castle, so no throwing axemen, unfortunately. But it could set up for champions. Not that strong, to be honest. Jalfan's just taking too much damage. Why doesn't he try to defend with these Arembi? Hit and run. What? You have to wonder, where is Jalfan's attention right now? That he can't hit and run with the Rimbai. I guess rebuilding his economy. So just take little fights like this with the Rimbai and run away. And Jaufan can't lose any more space. He needs to either he needs to get back on well he needs to at least he doesn't need the gold right now, but he'll need it pretty shortly. He'll need control of one of these three golds at least. Gonna move into the bottom one. Look at this ACCM with these knights. Gonna kill a ton of villagers. Another great night raid from ACCM. Now with the hand cannons in there, they can deal with the Rembai even better. Zhao Fan going up with the crazy castle with one villager. And those halves are gonna go to town. As they get right on top of the Rembai. Zhao Fan doesn't have enough attention. To three places at the same time. Hasn't paid attention over here. He's gonna lose all of his villagers. And I think that's gonna be it. ACCM attacking too many places at the same time. Has the total surround. Has total control over resources in the map. And ACCM probably will take this game. Good unit choice by ACCM going into the Halberdier. Worked out perfectly. And then the capped Rams. That's not an army composition you typically associate with Franks. But it, it worked out perfectly. And ACCM has just got to close out this game. 
And I, yeah, that's it. Just a trebuchet on top of the castle. There's only one castle remaining for Zhao Fan, and he needs that for Rabbi production. Zhao Fan not getting the, the horse color upgrade till now. That really hurts your economy. And you can see a big discrepancy in the food collected right there. I don't know if that's because of the horse color upgrade or what. ACCM upgraded the Paladin. He's got all the resources in the world. There's no way you can lose this. Look at how much access ACCM will have to gold for his Paladins. No, Zhao Fan absolutely needs to take this trebuchet out if he wants to try to stay in this game. Of course, he's not expecting the Paladin upgrade, and how could he? Oh, I'm glad you like the casting ward. A lot of people like my casting this game. This is a more entertaining game. If you've been here for a while, this is a more entertaining game than we've had. Though I definitely think my casting has been the best on this one. But that said, if you uh, enjoy my casting, please join me. Uh, join the Discord below where you can see where I post the schedule and I cast great games like this every week. It's called Games of the Week. And as well, you can go to the YouTube channel where you can go uh, watch a lot of my casts. If you join the Discord, we have a, a schedule right there. On one of the panels. Chivalry, blah blah blah. This game's pretty over. AC Sam castle in a great position. Oh! Surprise! 50 paladins running into your base. And has to be GG, because I have to assume at this point Zhao Fan has not seen this, because if he did, he would call GG right away. He can fight this. No hope. No hope for Zhao Fan. What hope do you see? Oh my god! Look at this! How many lumberjacks is that? 66 lumberjacks. 72! How high can it go? 74 lumberjacks. That's the most lumberjacks I've ever seen. In a not forest nothing game. Alright, GG. Wow, well played. Again, I love the army composition choices from ACCM. Uh, he had that monster night raid, which turned the game in his favor. Denying this town center for a time being. One great tower on the wood line. Excellent. Good defensive positions. Javan almost had that. I think he could have kept that castle up, repaired it, repaired his trebuchets, and kept pushing. But that didn't happen. And ACCM is victorious. Great game. Really love that one. See you next time. All right, I'm going to call it night for night for now. Again, join the Discord channel where you can see the stream schedule on a tab on the side. Uh, as you can see in the title, Mr. GPN will be casting games 21 GMT tomorrow, Arena Games of the Week. Let's find someone to host, and peace. Thank you for being efficient, thank you. No.